Good morning. Today I'm going to try and change the cabaret on my car. At present it's got the standard, uh, I think it's a Hitachi or something like that. And I want to change it to um, a 32-36 DGV Weber that I've bought courtesy of eBay. Now it's possible to just buy a an adapter to fit a 32-36 DGV onto one of these motors. But the adapter has some some issues. Firstly it adds an extra sort of 12 millimeters of height and I don't have much of that to spare here. But secondly uh, it actually doesn't um, remove the restriction of the standard uh, inlet. This is the uh, Toyota Corolla manifold that I've had modified uh, to take a 32-36 DGV Weber. I did this rather than buying the adapter because if you look here with the flange that I cut off you can see that the actual ports that uh, that feed into the uh, manifold are much smaller than they as you can see here is a 3236 DGV carburetor and it's on a Toyota Corolla 4K manifold Okay, that's carby off. Discovered two of the bolts holding the carby down were sort of basically finger tight, which could explain the rough running that I've been experiencing lately. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next stage, which is to try and remove the manifold. And hopefully I don't uh, have too much trouble doing that, because access is a little bit restricted around here. Okay, I've got the manifolds off, and it was a bastard. They, they put the the bolts in such an awkward place you can hardly use a tool on them and to top it off discovered one of the bolts that are supposed to cinch up the inlet manifold was missing the bolts on the carburetor flange were loose no wonder it was running like a dog this is the exhaust manifold and as much as I'd like to have a nice set of tubular headers this is what I'm stuck with I'm going to try and block that square hole you can see right there and what it's intended to do is to preheat the bottom of the manifold. Now the three bolts that hold it on are broken so that I can drill them out accurately enough so that they'll line up with the holes in the manifold. So what I'm going to have to do is try and block that hole up because I live in Queensland you don't really need to preheat the manifold. So that's my next bit. I have to work out a way to do that. Probably have to cut a little plate that I can retain with a bolt that I put in through, that I attach with a hole through here. Ideally I'd use some muffler putty but I don't have the bloody stuff so I'll just have to sort of make it as good as I can and it's got to be a lot better than, than the way it was. Anyway, tubular headers are ne uh, next on my list of things to make. Here you can see the um, plate I've made to block up that hole in the exhaust manifold. Um, it's a pretty snug fit. Unfortunately I can't get any kind of a gasket or sealant in there. So I'll just have to rely on the inevitable carbon build-up that will seal it up. It's now the next day. I've finally got the, uh, the manifold on the engine. And it was a bastard of a job because the bolts are really horrible to get to. And um, anyway, struggled. My back was just about rooted. But um, I got it on. This bloody choke sticks out too far. So I've just got to hook the exhaust pipe up again and then I've got to adapt the throttle cable. Things move slowly when you're a worn out old croc like me. Um, it took me another day to get everything hooked back up again. Anyway, it's all done now and I've, I've actually cut the outside of the choke housing off. It seems that the default position is that um, the choke flaps stay open as soon as you've uh, tickled the throttle once. So I'll just leave it like that for now. I've just um, made a little aluminium bracket and this will, um, will let me hook up the throttle cable. It will go onto the side of the rocker box here. I'm going to have to take the rocker box off and drill and tap it. I was going to do a, f a fancy setup with pulley, a little pulley and all that sort of shit but I think I can get away with a straight run and that's probably better, it's simpler and um, 
then I'll be ready to test fire it or at least see if I can get it to run should be okay well there's my little throttle cable bracket um, fitted to the rocket box but taking the rocket box off I discovered the inside of it is caked with sort of crud now this is to be expected with uh, a second hand motor I suppose but I just can't in all honesty put that back on the motor without giving you a thorough clean so that's going to be my task for the next 20 minutes or so I suppose because it's going to be scraped off, degreased, cleaned then I can put the rocket cover back on ah uh, the joys of old engine Okay, as you can see, I got it to fire, but the throttle cable's uh, not right. Uh, have it return to the idle stop. I have to rethink this a bit. Switch on 
started broken. Well, I'm pretty happy with that.